Welcome to the Buncee Clip and Stitch tutorial. I have three Bunsies that I'll be working with today because I'd like to combine a few different students' work into a single, shareable Buncee. In order to make the slides of each Buncee clippable, I'm going to make the Bunsies copyable. Whether I'm editing or viewing a Buncee, if I've created it and I'm signed in, I'll see the Share button at the top right-hand corner of my canvas. Click on Share and you'll see a few options. Make sure that Copyable is set to On. I'm going to do this to all three of the Bunsies that I'm working with today. These Bunsies can now be clipped. You might have noticed that after I made my Bunsies copyable, a small scissor icon appeared at the top of my canvas. If I click this, it'll allow me to clip one or more slides of a Buncee. For this tutorial, I'm just clipping one slide per Buncee. If I wanted to clip all slides, or more than one slide, I can do so here. Once I'm done choosing slides, I can view them by visiting My Clippings. This is under my profile options on the drop down menu. Now let's learn how to stitch Bunsies together. I've created a new Buncee with a cover slide, which I'll add my other slides to. First thing I'll do is click the settings gear at the top of my canvas and make sure that stitching is on. Next, I'll add a new slide. The Buncee will ask me if I'd like to add a blank slide or stitch a slide in. Once I choose to stitch a slide, it'll show me my clippings. From there, I can choose any of my previous clippings, which will be integrated seamlessly into my Buncee. Once I add all of my stitch slides, I can view my Buncee and see all of the awesome student work that I've combined. For more questions, please email us at info at